What about chocolate? The raw cacao bean. This is one of my favorite little children in the world right now. And uh, this little food right here, which is the food that all chocolate is made out of. In fact, I can peel it. You can see the chocolate right on the inside. This food, here's the chocolate on the inside, is probably the most chemically complex food in the world. It is definitely the most chemically complex food that's ever been studied in the world. Over 1,200 constituents of flavor alone. The next highest would be like royal jelly with three or four hundred constituents in it. This is the highest antioxidant food in the world. It blows away red wine and green tea I and mean, they're not even in the same category as cacao. Um, it's, we're talking orders of magnitude greater, meaning cacao is somewhere around 10, 15, 20 times greater in antioxidants than green tea, 30 times higher than red wine, 15 times higher than blueberries. And that, that's, where it, that's how powerful it is. This is the food that all those studies about chocolate is pointing at, right? It's not some kind of sugar in there. It's not some kind of dairy product came from some factory farm cow. It's actually this, the nut that all chocolate is made out of. In fact, this is the most widely eaten nut in the world that nobody eats. It's all processed, massively cooked, roasted, roasted, toasted, microwaved, heat destroyed, hexane extracted in huge factories. And what we did, our work has taken that, removed that entire industry and said, sorry, no, we're flushing you down the toilet. Flush that whole thing down the toilet, and now we're going right back to the original food in its raw, natural state, the way that the Native Americans ate it for thousands of years. The antioxidant content, what about the vitamin C content of that food right there? there there's nothing that rivals this in vitamin C in the entire seed and nut world, and it's one of the highest vitamin C containing foods of any food in the world. All processed chocolate contains no vitamin C because it's all destroyed by heat. Then we go into the mineral content of cacao. Cacao, the raw chocolate nut, is the highest natural source of magnesium, chromium, and iron. It's extremely high in zinc and copper and manganese. These are some of the most deficient minerals in our world. There is so much magnesium, copper, iron, and chromium in cacao that actually has therapeutic levels, meaning it's like a mineral supplement. There are very few, in, there are very few foods in the world that are actually mineral supplements, but cacao is one of them. Now beyond that, what about the brain chemicals that are in cacao? The bliss chemicals, anandamide. That's a chemical that only exists in human metabolism, except one plant has it, and it's cacao. What does that do? It makes you feel great. It's like an endorphin. You feel like you just did a big workout. Once you cook those phenethylamines, those natural, it's a natural kind of amino acid that's in cacao, you destroy most of the different frequencies of the phenethylamines. Now, if you recall, there was a lot of research recently about the, these phenethylamines being related to falling in love. These are the chemicals of falling in love that are in chocolate. But all cooked chocolate is most of it's gone. It's been evaporated, broken down, chemically changed by heat. But raw cacao has all of it still totally intact. All of the love chemicals are still there. How about that? And it goes on. What about the theobromine? The theobromine dilates all your capillaries, so whatever you eat chocolate with is absorbed deeper into your system than any other way you could eat it. Let's say you like herbs. Let's say you need herbs for your own healing. Well, you don't want to just be taking a bunch of dry herbs and just guzzling it down with water because your body goes, oh, I don't know really what to do with this. In talking to some of the great herbalists of the world, I've found a very strong commonality that they all believe that herbs are best absorbed when they're consumed as foods. And what's the best delivery mechanism in the form of a food? Cacao. You take some cacao, you crush it down with your herbs, you mix it up with a little bit of water, you down it that way, and then you got a nice little chocolate drink or even a hot chocolate. You can just make, put a little warm tea in there, blend it all down and drink it, and then you're saving yourself while having the best day ever too.